great, you know, lamentable problems with Smash is your work is never done. You, you can never just retire and say, eh, I did everything there was to do. No one retires in Smash except for C-3PO. Rest in peace. Man, C-3PO and, uh, wait, did Bizarro Flame came, come back? I, I don't think know. he did. All right, we're going straight into Losers Finals. Best two of three set here at Zeno 82, New York City, Manhattan. We see Dill with the Diddy Kong coming out. He has the ban appeal at the ready. Tried to air dodge through the shirt, and I guess he expected a little baby one instead. Give it grab, reaching pretty far, catching the monkey. Oh, he was actually, that was a really smart bait from Venia. He went all the way up there, sort of just like asking for Dill the monkey flip to the middle of the stage. And he actually, he just barely missed punishing it with the forward air, but very interesting to see that Venia might have those sorts of high-level baits in his back. In his bait bag. Here we got the double back air into grabs. Continues the combos. That was the gigantic conversion coming from Dill, just completely taking the lead away from Venia. Not quite yet. Now he took the lead away there from Venia. There it is. There it is. Yeah, and we talked before about how Venny is a very momentum-based player, and when you start to get bopped left and right all over the stage, it can seriously kill your momentum. As we're seeing right now, Dill has been able to get a couple more grabs since then. You know, making him slip with that banana peel, tries to get the follow-up, but we see Venny just spamming air dodge to get away from the forward airs. And that might be a good strategy, but keep in mind, Dill is also one of those players who will, you know, read and really adapt to the opponents, especially their defensive habits. So you can't get too hungry, like too used to just using the same option every time. Nice yeah. catch. You might be alive, but this is still a really scary place to be against many a. Falls on a trip. I wonder if that was. That was probably not on purpose. I don't think he wanted a trip there. But regardless, he is managing to stay alive, but he's way off stage. I don't know if he has a jump. He does, but. Venya throwing out a constant barrage of hitboxes, just trying to solidify that kill. He goes, lands with the up air. He throws that banana all the way up there. I think he was hoping that it would maybe help him uh, alleviate some pressure. But in the end, he still gets caught in it, but he is surviving at 164%. Definitely, he has the ability to end Dill's stock right now. We just need to hit him with the right move, and that forward air is one of those right moves. And Dill tried so much to get rid of Venia's stock. You saw him, like, he had a banana peel, only had one more throw left on it, so he threw it onto the ground to recharge the banana peel. He threw the banana peel against the ledge to try to get Cash Venia into a stun so he could land a down air. He just tried all the stops and he just could not get it. Nice Z drop of that banana peel in order to just interrupt whatever follow up Venya had in store. Probably the up air. As we're seeing constantly, just this drill of frog legs coming at you. Whoa! Smacks him with a reverse up Wait, tilt. He did the peanut gun pop, peanut pop gun cancel you, into up tilt? Correct. All right. It, it cancel, he canceled it into a grab, or a block. Shield. What is the word I'm looking for? Cancel it into a shield and then that, turn that into an up tilt. So wait, I didn't even shield, see the shield come out though. That was kooky. New tech. He goes anyway. In, gets a grab. Going for the back air. Tries to apply some more damage. And yeah, we're seeing these two just playing neutral, but that monkey flip is actually going to manage to zone break and open up something for Dill. He has this percent lead, but we saw how last stock he wasn't able to net the actual kill, and that ended up meaning that Venia was able to sneak it out before he could. Gets the follow-up. 134% on Venia, but keep in mind, last, last, uh, last stock he didn't die until like 180. So he's got some breathing room. Okay, again, drags him to the ground, gets the footstool into a downer, it tends to get a follow-up afterwards, misses it, but still gets the forward air. The down tilt into the very late up smash will be the game finisher for Dill, taking him to game number two. Yeah, and I forget, can Greninja shadow sneak out of the up smash? <laughs> Everyone just raises their shoulders. 
now we're moving on to game two here. Even though it says Looser's finals, this is our weekly. If you want to go see a best three out of five for finals, come to the monthlies. Um, and we're going to be going back to town and city. Uh, I definitely understand why. You know, um, he was, like, it's actually really impressive that Venny was able to survive so well, even on such a stage with such small, with such small blast zones. So I think he maybe is hoping to get some early kills off the top or maybe off the sides. He's just holding onto this banana. Wow. Tries to mingle with that up smash. I'm liking the F tilt from Venia. He's just using a lot of these little fast ground options. And the up tilt to continue this even more. I don't know whether uh, Dill has a jump, but he's going to make it back down to the ground, but he's not out of the woods yet. Finally makes it back to neutral, but Venia has his banana. Ooh, that was such a great... Managed to pick up the banana and immediately throw it on Venia to turn that around. But we still have about 91% onto Dill. Managed to connect that dash attack at the edge of the stage. Dill has the banana in hand, gets some more combos. Nice follow-up with that back air. Throw out the monkey flip just in case he opted to go left. What amazing spacing, getting just outside of the range of that monkey flip and punishing with a forward smash. It isn't enough to do it just quite yet, but Venia is starting to show that he maybe has a, uh, a read on the patterns that Dill has with these monkey flips. What a beautiful upbeat to get him back to the ground and to even uh, put Dill off stage there. Ooh, yeah, we're seeing, looks like Benny is looking for a dash attack. He needs some, like, setup to a kill. The forwarder will actually be able to do it. 82% on Venia. He might be able to take this game two, bring it to a game three, but he can't get too comfortable, especially against a player like Dill. You know, even when he's behind, he has the patience to just wait it out and uh, make those comebacks. And there we go, get some more combos started up for Venia, throwing that banana peel at Dill. Again, tries to catch him with that forward air, baiting out the monkey flip. You know Venia is going to be looking for some neutral airs. He has that prime percent to start racking up some big damage off of that combo starter. Ooh, a nice grab there, but he gets the air dodge, brings him down to the ground. But oh, the down Venia had the right idea there. He dragged him down onto the ground with that up air. Follow, you saw closely followed him with that walk. He had the grab at the ready. He was just a little bit too slow on the trigger. Ooh, and even though Venia had this huge lead earlier, now it's shrunk down to only about 20%. Oh, the air dodge is right into it. He's going to be surviving, but that's definitely a blow. Right now, Venia, he's, Venia has that momentum we talked about earlier. He's just standing at this range, throwing shurikens, waiting for Dill to make the tiniest mistake. Will that be it? Wow. I mean, we saw those red sparks, and Dill is still living at 111%. Some fantastic DI is keeping him in this. And uh, Greninja's kill options are kind of, it can be inconsistent. He has a very, even though he does have a kill throw, his grab itself is not so great. Um, but we might see the up throw. No, instead opting for back throw, knowing that the up throw wouldn't be able to finish it just quite yet. Dill is aware of just all of the kill options that Venia has at his disposal because he's so high and the forward smash will take it. Closing out game two and bringing us to game three. So we got Dill here. You know, he's got the counter pick at the ready. He's probably going to stick around with his Diddy Kong. It looks like he wants to... I mean, I, I can't even imagine what a character you want to go against Greninja. Diddy Kong seems to do the trick a lot for him. Just Venia had a lot of pressure that game. I I wouldn't be surprised if we see Tan and City again. A lot of the times when you see that, like, game one and game two on the same stage, they had to bring it back. Uh, it's been pretty even for both of them. And, you know, there are a lot of good stages for Diddy. But, um, you know, FD normally considered to be Diddy's best stage. Just his banana becomes so good when the opponent can't escape. But Greninja also notoriously does amazing on FD, so probably Dill will want to stay away from there. Let's see if we're going to where we're going to be going though. Also, probably not Battlefield, considering that uh, Venia loves Battlefield. 
He's definitely thinking about it. And while he's thinking about that, you guys should be thinking about subbing. Oh, yeah. The Twitch. Shameless plug. There it is. Since they're taking so long on the encounter picks, you know, that's kind of like Dill's strategy, right? He likes just stalling out as long as possible before getting to the next stage. You know, I gotta go to the bathroom, I gotta take some, get some water. It can kill momentum, and especially against Venia, who's, you know, we've been talking about how he will take one win or just even a little bit of uh, just momentum and really go a long way with it. And we're actually gonna be seeing Lilat for game three. Very interesting. I mean, this is a pretty good stage for Diddy Kong. Uh, Diddy Kong does well on like every stage for the most part. Well, yeah. And at the same time, the uh, I honestly believe though that fast fallers in general do kind of well on Lilat because you know they often don't rely on auto cancel timings like uh, you know a lot of the floatier characters do, and so the tilting doesn't mess them up quite as much. They go trying to throw out a neutral air, very rare occurrence for Dill. Try to push that banana peel a little closer to Venia. Like, here you go, dog. Try to slip on this. Oop, catches him with the up smash. We're seeing all these empty hops from Venia, and he manages to always, it's so, so smart, goes down and lands with a dash attack. Ooh. That peel is just hanging on that ledge. <laughs> Waiting to be grabbed again, where it actually helps extend this combo that was such a that was amazing from Dill. Knew where his banana was and just picks it up in the middle of that string. These guys playing so patient. That was a really smart forward air to beat out the banana and actually hit uh, Dill in the process. Just get that Z drop in case he used a normal get up onto the ledge. But caught him, just managed to catch him with that grab. Tosses him back off. Again, we see a lot of stage pressure coming from Dill. What, what just, he slipped on the banana peel, expected him to go right and try to catch him with the up smash again? I think that because he slipped, he like went outside of the up smash range. He like, he ran forward. Okay, and grabs that banana, but he's forced to re-grab and that will be definitely his death as a, uh, Dillman just, just get that forward throw for the kill. Definitely a nice punish on Dill's part. Yeah, and maybe one of the, you know, it's uh, maybe one of the benefits of Lilat for Dill in this matchup is that we haven't really seen Venya's crazy combo game. Like, maybe just the la the layout of Lilat is keeping him from, uh, I mean, I'm, I'm not sure myself. I, I'm sure that uh, Greninja still has lots of combos. <laughs> Doesn't need combos. He just gets that up smash, reading the jump, evening this up effectively. Ooh. He's he's thinking about a timeout. If he needs to, he's thinking about it. We're seeing some empty short hops from Dill. Kind of nicks him with that up tilt just to apply a little bit of damage. And once again, we're actually seeing a similar, you know, even though he did take that first stock, there's a similar problem to what we saw pretty much throughout this set, which is that Dill is just, you know, he's maintaining, maintaining patience. He's doing a really good job of attacking on percent and percent and percent. But he is not really, he's not really overzealous for the kills, which means that Venia is doing a really good job of surviving to very high percents. When he has all that rage, he can easily do a turnaround. We've, saw, we've seen it before. Let's see if Dill will be a little more conscious of how he's actually going to get the kill in the end. Catches it with the up smash, trying to get some follow-ups with the up airs. Here we go, Venya trying to turn this around. He tried to wait for the air dodge, getting that shadow sneak. But Dill just opts to go for the double jump instead, trying to catch that up smash over and over. Oh, yeah, both these characters fishing for their down tilts. Uh, they both I'm get a lot off of it. Yeah, I don't know if uh, a down tilt up smash will finish the job for, uh, for Venya. But absolutely, if Dill manages to land even just one of them, that'll be his end. Oh, yeah, we're seeing it. And he gets a forward throw again. 158% on Venia. I wouldn't even be surprised if Down Tilt Up Smash finished off Dill. Yeah, it can actually be really tricky when you're fighting against Diddy Kong. When he has you in that position from mid-stage, you don't know where to DI. 
because of the fact that, you know, he can do forward throw or back throw to possibly get a kill. What just happened? That was an amazing catch on the back air. It, it was, it didn't even look like it was that much, but it was definitely enough. Yeah, Fenia was just able to, he was at 180%. Like, yeah, the fact that Dill wasn't able to actually manage to uh, close out the stocks meant that uh, just he abused that survivability, had all of that rage, made the one proper read on Dill's recovery, and he will be sitting in grand finals where he will take on John Numbers. And I'm about to take